had his Oxy boxing and um, I can't think of a better guy to come in to replace Jimmy Guggen in selling the fight. I felt like happy enough to finish your, your speech. Um, so yeah, um, just for my channel, you've, I know you've already said it already, um, what's the chances you, 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 you give your stable mate against them, one of the best pound for pound fight in the world? Hey, I have no shadow of a doubt that Luke Campbell um, will be uh, Vasil Lomachenko. August 31st at the O2 Arena and become a unified world champion overnight. Um, he won't mind me saying it. Lomachenko is, is the best fighter in the world. But Luke Campbell will beat him. Luke Campbell, this is Luke Campbell's time. I believe that he's um, he's come along an incredible journey. He's faced many of um, adversities and um, because of that. This is now ready. He's got himself a good team around him. He's in a good headspace. He's fit, he's strong, he's on form. And uh, timing couldn't be better for, for Luke Campbell. And uh, he's now going to go out there and fulfill his destiny. And it's a gift. It's a gift, you know. Sometimes, you know, yeah, okay, you could fight a lesser opponent and become world champion. Um, and maybe no one will care, you know. But this is, a, this is the best fight in boxing right now here in the UK. Um, it's a must-see fight. And... You know, I know now because I've retired, Joe. You can look back at your achievements and actually uh, smile. Sometimes they didn't go your way, but you can smile. Um, at this moment in time, he'll look back at his Olympic gold medal and smile. But there's still so much more to come from his professional career. And um, you know, what what more could you ask for than beating the pound for pound number one rank fighter in the world? Um, because you got it right. You know, you got it right. You had to you've made mistakes before in the past. He had one loss that he took on late notice, and uh, he's avenged that loss. He lost to Lenares, a split decision. Um, but you know, he he was he was micromanaging a team back then. It's exactly what I had to do at the time when I was fighting for that. You know, I had to take the lead on everything, and that is exhausting. You know, and it takes away from your boxing performance. You know, that's the same with Campbell. But now he's in with Shane McGuigan, an experienced team, a good team. They gel well. Um, they're on form, as I say. He's come off the back of a great win out in Philly. And um, he's excited, he's pumped, he's ready for a world title fight. He'll fight anyone on the planet, you know. Fight Usyk if <laughs> they ask him to. So, um, and you, yeah, you'll fight you He'll well. fight me, yeah, yeah, he'll always fight me, yeah. He'll beat me as well. But, um, no, I, uh, I, I have no doubt that um, this is my, 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 my stable, my former stable mate's time, um, that he's going to go out there and do a fantastic job. The thing about Lomachenko, he has been hurt before. And um, one of the strongest points, as we all know, with um, Luke Campbell is his left hand, especially down when he goes downstairs. Is that a sort of thing you could see that happening? Yeah, him no, 100%. The body? You know, there's going to be loads. There's going to be loads of. Although he's, he's slippery, he's elusive, he's great agility, great angles. He, you know, he, he's there and then he's not Lomachenko. Um, Luke has seen this, you know, throughout his entire life, boxing all around the world, boxing predominantly Eastern Europeans in the amateur setup. Um, me, and him have, me and him have been to Baku and Azerbaijan together. We went to, to Russia together. We've been like everywhere, and um, you know, so he's been he's been dealing with these type of guys for you know over half his life. Um, yeah, you know, Lomachenko can pr uh, prove to be a difficult and elusive character to, to, to nail, but Campbell punches hard enough to, to gain his respect. You know, and once he starts landing. He's only going to gain on it. He's now at that period in his career where he has enough experience to stay switched on for an entire fight, which is important. Um, and I believe he's going to he's going to start racking up the rounds, and then Lomachenko, the pressure is going to get to him. He's going to have to make a move, and he could walk on to something. So there's lo there's loads of ways this, this fight can pan out. Um, Luke just got to make sure that he's on it on his A game and he's able to adapt. And uh, we have no no shadow of a, a doubt that he's capable of that. And lastly, um, I've got to ask you, I can't leave you without asking you, um, few, near future, Carl Froch, you, Yeah, Froch, Froch mentioned it, I don't think so, <laughs> <laughs> don't think so, yeah. um, well, we've got to wait and see how these two get on first, okay. eh? yeah, but um, yeah. no, we've uh, we got some, we got some, um, some meet and greets planned, some dinner shows together, so yeah. if, as long as we get through them with, uh, without a, a dust up, we'll be alright. Okay. <laughs> well, George, thanks for your time. Uh, and